Okay, in this video we are going to take a look at how we can very easily mint new tokens, so that's new fungible tokens, um, on the statement chain on Kusama that's coming up. But in this case we'll be using the statement testnet version that is deployed on the Roka co-relay chain. So what the statement allows you to do is to mint like, um, you know, application specific tokens uh, like you would see on other blockchains. So when an app or a project has its own token, this is what you can mint on statement. You can see here that uh, a bunch of people have already minted some of their tokens, so let's make our own. Uh, remember that in order to mint a token on statement, you have to put down a deposit and getting these tokens on the statement test version requires interacting with the faucet in Riot right now. On Kusama, when statement is deployed there, you will be able to move your KSM from the Kusama relay chain into the statement chain. I will make a separate video on how to do that. And then you will use your Kusama tokens as a deposit. So in this case, I have a thousand Rococo tokens and I will use those to create a new asset. So to create a new asset, you go to Network Assets and here we can click on create so there are several fields that you need to populate uh, here we'll just pick the account that has the uh, the rococo tokens so we'll call we'll give the asset a name so this is what uh, people will see when they look at the name column in this case i'll call it the remark token um, as the asset symbol you have to pick a string of three characters or more so in this case we'll just set set this uh, to remark as well um, decimals will tell you how many decimals your your token can have. This is how um, into into how small fragments you can split it. Um, well, let's put ten decimals here, and then there's a minimum balance. So the minimum balance defines when an account can be reaped or deleted from the blockchain's state. Uh, in other words, you cannot have less than this amount in your account, or it will be counted as zero. It will be destroyed. So if your balance goes below that, then the reference to your account, your, your account, if it only has this token, your account will be deleted if it goes below this balance. Let's say 0 0.001. And we have to give it an asset ID. This is just a ID in the blockchain's database, so to speak. Uh, doesn't really mean anything, but can be completely symbolic and will be referenced in the code when you try to send it with a smart contract or another palette and so on. Uh, when you do when you programmatically interact with it so for this we'll put in 420 all right so now we will be setting the accounts so this is the account it's going to be the admin account for the token this is this account is going to have some special privileges this account is going to be the issuer he can mint new tokens and this one is allowed to perform freezing so this one can freeze people's balances so in other words these tokens have certain predefined abilities uh, built into them that are very uh, useful for uh, asset-backed stablecoins, for example. So if a stablecoin that is backed by a fiat amount in a bank account, like with uh, USDC, for example, um, USDC works in the way that it holds a certain amount of dollars in a bank vault and however many dollars there are, that many tokens can exist on chain. And if that state in the bank changes, it has to accommodate the state on the chain and vice versa. Um, they also have to have regulatory oversight. Uh, they have regulatory oversight and so they have to have control over these tokens. So they have to be able to freeze people's wallets and they have to be able to issue new tokens at will. And this is why these um, centralized custodial stable coins need this type of functionality. And this is why it is by default built into this system. So let's create our asset. We will now send this transaction. We need to sign this transaction. And now our transaction is going to be emitted. The transaction has now been confirmed and we should see our token somewhere in the list. My token is now minted, uh, but only as a kind of placeholder for the token. There's zero balance. None of the tokens exist yet. So this is only its type. The type of the token exists in this chain, but no tokens have been minted yet. Now I can mint some tokens to any account. However, 
I would not be able to mint it to any other account other than my own, the Kusama experiment one. And if we look at the accounts list, I have several. But I would not, I would only be able to mint it to Kusama experiment. And this is because only the Kusama experiment account exists. So in order to have some tokens on statement, the account has to have already some Roco Co tokens or when it's deployed in Kusama, some KSM tokens as well. So it has to be above the existential deposit. If it is not above the existential deposit, it cannot get a reference to, to some other asset type. So it has to have uh, at least the existential deposit of the chain's root tokens before accepting any other asset. And we can actually demonstrate this on the, uh, on the token mechanics. So if, if I try to mint 10,000 tokens to Alt1, my extension account here, then you will notice that this transaction will actually fail. So the transaction failed with token cannot create. But if I send Alt1 a balance, so let's send 100 Rokoko tokens to Alt1 first. There we go. Now the Alt1 extension account has some tokens. And then I try to do the same thing again. So go down, mint, say 10,000 tokens to Alt1, mint it, go. Sign it and send it again. And now we have successfully minted these assets into the account of Alt1. And the way to check your asset balances is not on the accounts page. It is actually to go into the assets palette and check the balances. And so now you pick the asset that you want to query balances for. In this case, it's Remark. And now it will show you all the accounts that have that asset that are added into your UI. In our case, that's just the Alt1 um, extension, the Alt1 extension account, and it has 10,000 Remark tokens. Now, as, a, as the account in control of this um, token, my original account can actually do some operations on it. And so what we can do is we can go into extrinsics and assets and then we can freeze the asset so if we freeze the asset for 20 which is my asset my token and submit the transaction now the asset is completely frozen and nobody can send it to anybody else so if we go to assets balances check for 420 this should actually say yes. I'm not sure why it doesn't. So let's try and send 500 of Remark tokens to Kusama Experiment, which we know has Roku Co, uh, tokens, so it should be able to receive these tokens. And you see that the transaction has failed because the assets are frozen. Now why this says no is because this only refers to the current account's frozen balance. It doesn't look at the global state of the asset. This might be uh, different by the time you're looking at this video. And we can actually um, demo this by freezing only this account's balance. So you can freeze individual account's balances as well as the global balance of the entire Remark token supply. Um, 
And that's, exa that's essentially how you interact with custom tokens on the statement network. Now, um, the assets UI here will get new functionality as it evolves. For now, you have to, ev you have to interact with it through the extrinsics um, UI so that you can call any custom function of the asset palette through this, um, through this UI. So if you want to unfreeze it, you just call thaw. So thaw asset at 420 would allow sending again. The asset is now unfrozen. You can try sending it. Assets. Let's go. Balances. 420. And send 500 tokens to the Kusama experiment. There we go. And we can already see that the balances have updated. So Kusama experiment now has 500 remark tokens and Alt-1 extension has 9,500 remark tokens. It works fine. Uh, feel free to explore the other functionality you can call in the assets palette. Just play around with these functions. This is a testnet. It's meant to be broken. And when it's deployed on Kusama, feel free to um, release your own token for your own application-specific purposes. I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for more.